like to pray for everyone that we could all feel joy. And I am peace. asking for prayer for my family. I would like family. to ask prayer for the unity between different congregations. Pray with me uh, for my uh, nation. We pray for successful operations. We pray it will be a safe journey. We pray for their well-being. We pray that you will unite us, unite us to be good brothers. You have given victory, Lord. Thank you for leading and guiding us. Shalom and welcome to Jerusalem Praise. I'm Yair Pinto, and together with me, as always, is Monica Yagori. Monica, how are you doing today? Doing wonderful, thank you. How are you? Good to see you again. Yeah, it's really good to see. It's been a month. <laughs> it's been a whole month. <laughs> so good to be back. Yeah. And also, on my left side here is Anastasia and Joshua Goodings. How are you doing? Great. We're yeah, so happy to be here. Great. And we'll, we'll get to know you better. It's the second time already you're here, mm -hmm. so we'll... Remind the viewers who you are and where you're coming from uh, in a minute, but we will start with prayer. And Monica, could you please lead us in prayer that God will join us today? Abba Father, we just thank you. We thank that you're already here and uh, in you we live and move and have our being, Lord. And uh, we just thank you for this opportunity. We want to join with you and we ask you for your leadership. Uh, you guide our words and give us utterance, Father. Uh, what you want us and have us to speak and, and accomplish here today, Lord, and uh, unite us uh, in your spirit with the viewers, Lord, and uh, with your purposes uh, that uh, your will would be done as in heaven, so on earth, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So the topic for today is the Feast of Tabernacles and the Nations. Why it is the topic? Because next month, as you two know, we have the Feast of Tabernacles. And it's a very, very uh, special feast. I will start by reading the biblical, you know, verses about it. And then we'll talk more about it and how is it connected to the nations. Okay, so in Leviticus 23, verse 33 to 37. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days to the Lord. On the first day, there shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. For seven days, you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. On the eighth day, you shall have a holy convocation, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. These are the feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Okay, uh, Monica, I have my first question actually to you before I go to our guests. What is special and unique about the Feast of Tabernacles? So we have discovered in our studies that uh, the Feast of Tabernacles is one of those that the mentions, uh, is mentioned in the Bible in connection mm -hmm. with the nations, uh, uh, Gentile nations, and it isn't just about Israel. And uh, uh, hopefully we will discover also during our topic and during our uh, discussion today that uh, 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 all these feasts that... Um, most people know about, but then they are not just for Israel and not mm -hmm. just for the Jews, but they mm -hmm. are also important uh, uh, for Christendom. And, and so uh, there is one specific scripture, for example, which is Zechariah 14, 16, uh, which is mentioned, uh, uh, mentions uh, Feast of Tabernacles in connection with the nations. And it says that, and it shall come to pass that everyone who is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. And it shall be that whichever of the families of the earth do not come up to Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, on them there will be no rain. In the family, if the family of Egypt will not come and enter in, they shall have no rain. They shall receive the plague with which the Lord strikes the nations who do not come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that do not come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's also like, like a warning if you don't yeah. celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. And it mentions Egypt very specifically, but mm -hmm. also... Um, and I think you have a story to share about that maybe later. Yeah, yeah, yes. definitely. But first of all, 
Uh, again, we have Anastasia and Joshua with us, mm -hmm. and you are connected very strongly with this feast particularly, right? Could you please share about yourself, where you're coming that from? That is right. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting us again. My We're pleasure. Really, um, very honored to be here and to share with all our um, viewers about the Feast of Tabernacles. Mm -hmm. And how do we connect it? Me, um, Joshua, my husband, mm -hmm. and I, we serve in the CJ. Mm -hmm. uh, it's International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, mm -hmm. where we um, lead the prayer uh, department and we pray with the nations for Israel uh, and for the nations. And uh, during the Feast of Tabernacles, that's one of the main things um, that we will do personally, that's organizing the nations to come in prayer. But Amazing. Um, if uh, uh, we are talking about the nation of Egypt and we are talking about the Feast of Tabernacles, it's very interesting. We do have the wonderful story uh, what happened during the Feast of Tabernacles. Mm -hmm. And if you would like, uh, I could share about that. Please share, yes. Um, we had, I think the feast was uh, before the corona started. We mm -hmm. had the mm -hmm. feast in 2019 yes. and we had a delegation from Egypt for the first time mm -hmm. because there were people who read the scriptures, Zechariah 14, and they mm -hmm. literally took it because at that year in Egypt there was trial. Mm -hmm. So there was no rain, and they said mm -hmm. we need to come out to Jerusalem as it's commanded uh, in the word of the Lord and uh, pray for our nation. Yeah. They did, uh, there was a delegation, maybe 20 people, Egyptians who came, and when we had the stage and the starting of the Feast of Tabernacles, at that same moment, there was unprecedented rain that was released in Egypt after so much time of drought, and you can check the news of that year, <laughs> and that was in all news, and the people of Egypt, Egypt, they uh, experienced little rain for their nation. Wow. But also we believe that it's not only um, physical, mm -hmm. but it's also spiritual rain. Mm -hmm. uh, we do need a revival. We do need a waking for our nations. And we come at this appointed time mm -hmm. to ask the Lord about that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And you two are involved in, in prayer, right? Yes. So I have a question. Okay. In Hebrew, um, the Feast of Tabernacle is a moed. Okay, a moed is an appointed time, like an appointment with God, because this is the feast of the Lord. Yeah. Okay, so we have an appointment with God, okay, and he's calling us to come to Jerusalem and to worship him here. How do you pray during this appointed time with God? So uh, how do we pray during mm -hmm. this appointed time with God? So like you're saying, yes, this is a moed or an appointment. Um, now, we know that we always have access to the throne of God uh, mm -hmm. by the blood of Jesus. We, have, uh, we can come and make any of our petitions known. Um, but uh, there are specific times in the scripture, actually in God's calendar, where he actually invites us in to have this close relationship, this communion with him. Mm -hmm. And this is one of these times. It's, uh, it's during uh, the different feasts, but especially we see this in the high holy days. So we're entering into this time. And it's a time where God it wants to, like, like we said earlier, he wants to release his reign or he wants to release his blessing over our lives. But there's a time of preparation that needs to happen, I believe, within each one of our own hearts. And the people of Israel, uh, even now, are in this process of uh, doing teshuva or this time mm -hmm. of repentance, cleansing their hearts, leading into Rosh Hashanah, mm -hmm. which is the declaration of the trumpet, the, the Feast of Trumpets, and then going on um, for the, the 10 days of Yom Kippur, all leading to the Feast of Tabernacles, which is uh, Tabernacles is a, is a time where God himself would to come and tabernacle with his people. Mm -hmm. And this is our desire. Uh, it's not, and, and what's interesting is that. Um, it's not just an invitation for the Jewish people. It's also an invitation for all Christians, as as you read earlier, Monica. Um, and this is uh, this is our desire: is that when we come together uh, as a Jewish people, but also as as believers, mm -hmm. to come to Jerusalem, that the Lord would meet with us, and that our hearts would be clean, that our hearts would be pure, that we would be able to receive that touch or that answer for that prayer that we've been asking for. Because as we're entering in, we're cleaning our hearts, we're coming forth with pure hands and a pure heart. And when we come with pure hands and pure hearts, God is going to release his word and that we're going to see something move in our own lives. And this is our desire. And so I believe this is this is that appointment. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to come, he's going to meet you. Um, I think of it oftentimes as, and I mentioned this before, as, as an appointment book. If God has an appointment in his calendar, um, he's going to show up for that appointment. Mm -hmm. But we need to be prepared in order to be able to meet him at that time, not to be busy about our own things, not to be busy about uh, what we're doing or or um, 
uh, the things of this world that kind of like sometimes uh, take our attention away from God, but to really be intentional. No, well, it makes sense. If you have a very important appointment, you want to come prepared. Exactly. And in this case, you want to come after you did your soul searching and repentance and you have a clear heart to come up and meet God. Yeah. And it reminds me of, uh, mm-hmm. so we, we see this in, the, in, the, in the, uh, the Older Testament, but we also see this in the New Testament in James chapter uh, 4. It's, it's talking about... Um, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And it says, like, submit to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. And that's really what we're planning to do, is that this drawing close to God, mm-hmm. because he's getting ready to draw close to us, especially during these appointed times. Amen. Monica, I think you have a question. I see you. No, I, I had the same scripture open. <laughs> really? <laughs> exactly. So, uh, uh, yeah, but uh, we were talking about before the program, about uh, this is the month of Elul in mm-hmm. the Hebraic, the Jewish calendar. Mm-hmm. And then uh, this is, uh, it is mentioned um, that it comes from the Song of Songs, um, uh, the acronym of this month, uh, which means that uh, my, I'm my beloved's and my beloved is mine. And another uh, symbol or kind of a theme over this month is that the king is in the field and our mm-hmm. king is uh, Yeshua, our king is Jesus and Abba Father. And so he's in the field. It means that he's come out of his palace mm-hmm. uh, and he's available. And if you want like it's exactly he's available and 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 also in the old testament it, it's this scripture that is telling us to come uh, close to him and he will to come close to you but also there is in isaiah i think uh, uh, somewhere it uh, it says that uh, uh come to him or find him or seek him when he is available he or when he can be found or mm. like so there are some it seems like maybe if it says that there are some appointed times where he can be found and maybe there are also times when he cannot be found Mm-hmm. So, uh, so if this is like focused uh, time, uh, uh, so uh, I think you mentioned also uh, uh, on a personal level that you are going through a little journey and a discovery in, in mm-hmm. these areas and that it is proving to be true. Effectual. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I also think that God made these times for us mm-hmm. because we get easily get distracted and we easily mm-hmm. forget. So I think it's not just a point of time that God is more available because I think he's always available, yeah. but it's it's for us to know, okay, Feast of Tabernacle is coming. I need to do a clean house, and this is a time that God wants me to focus on him. Mm-hmm. So it's good to have this on the calendar, to have a deadline, and then to be ready for God, mm-hmm. for us. It's a reminder. Yeah. God, I think, likes to remind us always. <laughs> And it's very interesting we can look at our Jewish brothers and sisters because um, for the last uh, week we used to go to the Western Wall every night. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's months of Elul and we could mm-hmm. see the example how the families come for a prayer of repentance every day preparing. And uh, you can see how they switch. They, even at the Western Wall, I could hear how one of the ladies called her family and said, do you want to make a prayer and repentance right now as I'm here? And that is wonderful, a reminder for us. That mm-hmm. is for us to get ready. Yeah, yeah. So during this time, is there any specific uh, prayers that the nations is praying that we can join them in prayer for from here? Yes. Uh, definitely, um, as the ICEJ, the International Christian Embassy, one of our uh, main goals is, uh, or not goals, but like one of the main things that the ministry does is the Feast of Tabernacles each year. Mm-hmm. And so it's a celebration where we invite the nations to come up according to Zechariah chapter 14 to present themselves as nations before the Lord here in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. And like you said earlier, this is a command. Now, this is a prophetic command. But we see this as something, an invitation uh, to the nations to come up even now. Mm -hmm. And um, so for the past 40 years, as you had mentioned before, we've been holding these events where the the nations are invited to come. And this year, uh, on October 14th, um, there is a day set aside specifically for prayer. And at this time, we're going to be in the pavilion here at the Cloud Building Mm -hmm. in Jerusalem. Five minutes walk from here. Five minutes walk (laughs) from here. Uh, And... From 9 a.m. until 11 p.m. at night, we're going to be having prayer and intercession and inviting the nations themselves to come up. And it's a platform where they can come uh, to present themselves and to to really show a representation Mm -hmm. that that, uh, we are here as our nation. And so some nations will come with a dance or with traditional clothing or with a special song from their nations to really say to the Lord, you said in your word, that uh, if we come, then you will release rain over our nation. Mm-hmm. And so to really come and to say, here we are as our nation. And so if you're coming from the nations to the Feast of Tabernacles this year, 
We want to invite you to also to be to, to come and participate in that. It's going to be on October 14th at the Pavilion in mm-hmm. Jerusalem, but also for the nation of Israel. If there's Israelis that want to join, this is something that I think would really bless the Jewish people to see the nations come up according to the word of the mm-hmm. Lord, mm-hmm. to come to pray together with brethren from around the nations. Amen. And is this uh, event on the October 14th available also online if people want to join That's right. on Zoom or something That's like that? Right. Like maybe our viewers want to join yeah, in. Yeah, our experience for a couple of years uh, before was online as nations couldn't come this year it's a special format so we will have physical feast from uh, 9th of october to 16th of october and online prayer that will happen at the same time all these eight days every nation mm-hmm. well, 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 hour by hour will join in prayer mm-hmm. so we would love to invite you as well for yeah. the online prayer if you can't make it physically amazing amazing so maybe you can uh, lead us and the nations in prayer you know Yes, definitely. Ahead of the, of the feast. That would be a, a really honor, uh, really an honor. Uh, so uh, let's just bow our heads. Mm-hmm. So Father, we thank you, Lord, for um, this opportunity, this invitation that you give uh, to each one of us to come before you. Uh, Lord, uh, you said in your word that if we, if we draw near to you, then you would draw near to us. And according to your word, Lord, and according to this time and season, Father, we just believe that you're opening the door, you're drawing close to us. And Lord, our desire is that we would also draw near to you. And Lord, if there uh, are nations or people from around the nations who are watching right now, just ask God that you would just move within our hearts. Give us that grace to come near to you, to put aside our old ways, to purify our hearts in our actions, our lives, to prepare ourselves to receive from you during this season. Because Lord, I know that you want to move. And Father, I do ask that you would just release that grace and that you would meet each one of our needs as we come before you with our prayers, with our um, our requests, Lord, those things that are deep within our hearts, even the unspoken uh, words, Lord, those unspoken prayers, those deep things. I ask God that during this season, Lord, that you would meet each one of us in this time, Lord. You said you would do it, and we believe you. So we just ask this all Bashim Yeshua HaMashiach, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Monica, do you have uh, another question for our guest? I know you were wondering about Israel's uh, place in this uh, in this. Feast. Yes, so the rain was mentioned, and, and uh, we know, and, and uh, we're uh, nations, we're learning sometimes from Israel. He's our big brother, so to speak, so, <laughs> or the firstborn. And uh, so they are also praying for rain at this time and then mm-hmm. getting ready and preparing. And we know that then when uh, they, uh, the Feast of the Trumpets will come and then there will be Yom Kippur and, and so they are getting ready. And depending how well they have repented, mm-hmm. is uh, it's what will be written for them in the next year. Mm-hmm. And also the rain is a big part of it usually. So uh, in, in our region, a rain <laughs> is very essential. So uh, so they are also praying for that. And uh, But at the same time, what can we pray for Israel? Not just for rain, but... Um, mm-hmm. Um, what can we pray? How can people who are watching us and how can nations pray for Israel at this time? Of course, I think the first uh, is a nation of Israel coming to the Lord. Uh, we need to pray that they would do it and their eyes would be open. Mm-hmm. When the Lord will come to meet them, that their eyes would be open to see him, to greet him and uh, to welcome him in his lives. Uh, sometimes uh, we do things automatic, even good things. We can come and have coffee with our friends. We can have a dinner with the family. But sometimes our heads could be full of other thoughts. But we want to be intentional that the Jewish people here in Israel, they would be opened. And when they say prayers, it would come through their hearts mm. to the Lord. And actually when the Lord replies to them, that their eyes would be open to see and ears would be open to hear mm. what he says. Yeah, so it's also about, I think, uh, this time, like we mentioned before, you draw near to God. He actually says in um, in Jeremiah 29, 30, it says, mm-hmm. um, "When you 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 will seek me and you will find me yeah. when you search for me with all, all your, your heart. heart." And I believe that this is the the prayer that we should be praying because they're in that place of repentance, drawing close to God, mm-hmm. seeking Him. Mm-hmm. And as they would do it, that they would do it with all their hearts. And because mm-hmm. He says in His Word that when they when we do, mm-hmm. then we will be found by Him. Yeah, or He we will find Him. Amazing. And this would be the prayer that I think that we need to be praying is that this revelation, this encounter would happen uh, within our, our, our uh, with the, within the Jewish people at this time. Amen. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Let's uh, take a break and just uh, pray. Let's Amen. pray now. Let's do it.
אבינו שבשמיים, תודה לך, תודה לך שאתה אל טוב, שאתה אל נאמן, אנחנו מתפללים עכשיו עבור עם ישראל. Our Father in heaven, thank you that you are good, thank you that you are loyal today. Now we pray for the nation of Israel that starting now they are seeking to get closer to you. They are repenting, they are praying for forgiveness over their sin, and this is a time that we really ask you to meet them, mm-hmm. to meet them personally as they are seeking you and to reveal yourself to them fully. Mm-hmm. We pray for a revival in Israel. We pray that you will reveal yourself to the people of Israel during this time. Hashem Yeshua HaMashiach. And I, I want to add, uh, just uh, it's always a busy time, Lord, and uh, mm-hmm. I just pray that Just there was Mary and Martha, and, and you said that the choice of Mary, that Mary has made a good choice, uh, and uh, it will not be taken away from, from mm-hmm. her. Father, I just pray that um, the mothers in Israel and the men and the fathers and uh, everybody who's busy preparing for the feast, there is a lot of physical things to do, Lord. I just pray that uh, uh, you would give them grace for to make the choice of Mary, Lord, and, and to really meet you, to, that it would come from their hearts, Lord, that they wouldn't be so busy that mm-hmm. that they would miss this invitation and this opportunity to, do, to be with you. And uh, I just pray in Jesus' name for your supernatural intervention uh, for everyone uh, so that they wouldn't miss this opportunity and this mm-hmm. uh, uh, that they would see and uh, recognize the time of the grace that you have given for this time uh, this year. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And as always, the time flies. <laughs> And uh, we came to the second part of the show. This part, we pray for a prayer request that we received from you, from everybody who is part of the TV7 Israel family. And uh, I would like to ask with the first uh, prayer request that we received from uh, Hila, our director here uh, of Jerusalem Praise. Uh, she is uh, my colleague here in Jerusalem, and she asked for prayer request for guidance and direction. What should be her next step? Mm. So maybe, Anastasia, you can yes, definitely. pray for Ila. Um, thank you, Father. For you, uh, your word is saying that your word is the lamp for our mm-hmm. feet. Mm-hmm. And according to your word, we ask for Hila that you would bless her, that you would release your word to her. Um, your word that is written and your word that is Rama, that it would be a lamp for her feet, for the guidance and directions, that she wouldn't rely on her own understanding, but she would rely on you, Lord. And you're faithful to her. You're opening the doors that should be open and no one can close them. And you're closing the doors that are not good to enter in. So we thank you for your grace for Hila. We thank you for your guidance and heavenly wisdom in every decision she makes. makes. Amen. 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 And Monica, maybe you can read the prayer request from, from uh, Said. I hope I can read it. <laughs> uh, uh, please also pray that um, God bless and save humanity for the sake of humanity and around the holy city of Jerusalem, especially in the whole region of Middle East and uh, Abraham's religion across the globe. Uh, Amen. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's from Pakistan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how do we pray for this? <laughs> I think this is a prayer for the persecution of, of Christians in the Middle East and for the body of Christ in the nation. All right. Abba Father, we just, uh, yeah, we lift before you uh, all our brothers and sisters, Lord, who are persecuted in the Middle East and, and further and, and uh, in the holy city of Jerusalem even. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, we pray uh, for your protection. Uh, we pray uh, that you would watch over them mm-hmm. and send your angels, Father. We ask for your perseverance, that you would yes. strengthen them, Father, and uh, would give them grace uh, uh, to stand, to withstand uh, when there are sufferings, Lord, and uh, that you would bring them out uh, just like you were with Jesus. Daniel uh, and others uh, in the fiery feast or with lions that you've been in the past father that you are there in the midst of them and uh, you are there to say father and uh, you are there to support mm-hmm. Lord and uh, we just pray uh, 
Uh, we pray for our brothers and sisters uh, in other regions, Lord, mm -hmm. uh, also. And then we ask you to watch over them and help them. In Jesus' name, we also pray for other nations uh, who don't know you yet, Father. So we pray at this time, anyone who is seeking you, we just pray that they will yes. seek Amen. honestly and from all their heart, Father. And we pray that you may find them as well. In Jesus' Amen. name, all the sons of Abraham. Amen. 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 So we have a little less than three minutes. Do you have maybe a message or something that God spoke to you as you are praying during this time to share with, with our viewers? Or maybe some tools, practical tools of how and what to pray for. So again, like I think that the theme that we've been praying about uh, has been the Feast of Tabernacles. And mm -hmm. as we were praying just now, I just saw a picture of um, uh, even a tent. And I think that this is like a, really an invitation that the Lord is inviting each one of us into, especially each one of our li listeners. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes along with everything that we've been praying about when we're praying about the Middle East or praying about the Jewish people or about the, the nations coming up. I really believe that it's a time when God really wants to to meet with us, mm -hmm. that he wants to tabernacle with us, um, that his presence would come and he would rest within our midst. And this is our desire uh, to see this. Uh, and this is, I, I believe, our prayer as well. Mm -hmm. And also, if we speak about tools, uh, we could experience it on our own life. Uh, when we take aside the time, literally, have mm -hmm. a date, have a calendar when you meet the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for our family, we take it every night. We go and we spend time with the Lord uh, for mm -hmm. like some uh, some special time, even reading Bible or just listening to mm -hmm. or uh, being in His presence. And we could experience a lot of grace. So I think this again remind us to set apart the time every day. When you meet with him amazing i think that's really good and practical i think uh, i'll use that also because i'm a calendar kind of guy you know everything needs to be so Think, definitely. And there's something about it too, like whenever you make that appointment in your own calendar, mm -hmm. you know, set aside a small amount of time, God comes and he meets with you. And so, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, he always have, has time for us. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. Well, but sadly, we are running out of time for this show. <laughs> so I would like to say, you know, thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Anastasia. Thank you, Monica, for being with us. And um, before we conclude, let's say the priestly blessings and you can join me and you can join me back at home. Yevarchecha Adonai Vishmarecha Ya'er Adonai Panav Alecha Vechunecha Isa Adonai Panav Alecha Vayasem Lecha Shalom Shalom Alechem Thank you for joining us for another episode of Jerusalem Praise and we'll see you next time. Chag Sukkot Sameach perspective if you will. everything is intertwined as we as we say absolutely for more of tv7's productions and editorials we invite you to visit our website at www.tv7israelnews.com